Hi everyone, welcome back to another card tutorial. My name is Jessica and I like to show you a really quick and simple Valentine's project today. This is a beginner's friendly project and perfect for someone who is trying out the Tributronics light for the first time. I'm also trying to use as little products as possible since the beginners don't have a large stash of tools to work with. First, we'll be stamping the focal image of this card, which is this really cute little cupid. He is from this stamp set called Flight of Fancy, and I think it's just so perfect to use with the Chibitronics lights. I ended up using all three images to create three separate cards, one for Christmas, one for Halloween, and this one is for Valentine's Day. You can incorporate lights to the little snowflake or wand that they're holding, and for today's card, I'll be adding a light to the cupid's heart. I'm using this pink ink pad to do the stamping, but you can choose whichever color or brand of ink pad you may have. The white piece of cardstock is also in position of where I want to stick it to my card. You can see that it's not pushed up all the way in my stamping tool, and it's sitting towards the top half of my card panel. If you don't have a stamping tool, you can just do a rough estimate for the next step. But having a stamping tool really helps to stamp precisely, and I really, really recommend it even if you're a beginner. After I'm done stamping, I'm using a pencil to lightly mark the edges. This way I'll know where to stick down the panel at the end. You'll notice that I'm stamping the same image onto the card base as well. This image will eventually be covered, but it will help us to determine where we want to place our lights and how to lay down the circuits. Now that we've done the majority of the work, we can start the fun part, which is designing the circuit. I want to place an LED light on this big heart so that it will glow when we press it down. And for the battery, I want to place it on this cupid's belly. Then we can make the battery holder. You just need a thin strip of paper long enough to cover the front and the back of the battery. When I'm sticking this piece down, I made sure that when I fold over the flap of this piece of paper that the edges are facing towards the edge of the card. This is important if you want a way to turn on and turn off your circuits and conserve the battery life. We'll go into details more, but basically you can turn off the circuit when you're mailing the card or when you're storing it away. And if you want to see the magic happen, then you can switch on the circuit and you can show people how it glows. Here I am just using some foam strips to build the walls of the battery holder. I think it's a better idea to skip this step for now and do it after you have completed the circuit though. You'll see that I originally placed foam tape around three sides of the battery, but then I had to peel one side off because I haven't stuck down the copper tape yet. So let's go back one step to finish the circuit building. I tried to design this card um, with a really simple circuit. It includes just one light and one battery, and the distance between the two is actually not very far. That means we don't need a lot of copper tape, and it's actually easier to work in a smaller design like this if you cut the tape in half. It might seem really hard to build a circuit, especially if it's your first time trying it, but you really only need to follow one rule. And it's that you need to connect the positive side of your light to the positive side of your battery. After you're done, then you can do the same thing to the negative side. In some cases, you might need to make turns with your copper tape. And I do think it takes a little bit of practice to master um, a very sharp corner. But really, it's not that complicated, I promise. What you need to do is that you just need to pull the tape back, kind of folding it back on itself. Then you can use a tool or your nails and press down the tape at a 45 degree angle. I know you can't really see it too closely because it's a very small piece of tape and I'm not zooming in too much. But the idea is that once you create that 45 degree angle, you can redirect the tape to the direction that you want. I didn't do it on my first try. I've been using the Chibitronics products for quite some time now. But I hope that with this video, it really gives you the confidence to try this new technique. You don't have to be afraid if you mess up. And once you try it, you might just love adding lights to your crafting projects. 
And actually, I think I'm going to post a very close up video, like taking you through all the steps you need to do to make a very nice, clean and sharp corner when you're working with copper tape. And now that we have completed the circuit, we can finally stick on the LED light. I'm using the red one today. It's perfect for his little heart. You also want to press down on the edges a couple times, making sure that the sticker is making a good connection with the copper tape. I also have a tiny piece of extra copper tape, and I didn't want to waste it, so I decided to stick it at the end here. I don't think it's necessary, but in my mind, um, I think a larger surface area might help um, the battery to be in contact with the copper tape as well. So that's what I'm doing here. And look at how cute this little circuit is. I think it just adds a really special touch to a very simple card like this. After you check that the circuit is working, you can use a bone folder to burnish the copper tape. This makes sure that the copper tape is stuck to the paper really tightly and ensures really good connection in your circuit. I think I mainly like to do it because it's very satisfying to watch the creases go away. Smoothing out the copper tape is just so fun to watch. Now we can finally seal off the last edge of the battery holder. For the final steps, we can start to assemble the card. I've added a bunch of foam strips and foam tape here. You just want to make sure the whole area does not exceed the white card panel that we stamp with a little cupid. Like I said before, I made a couple cards using the stamp set, so I kind of know how to arrange the foam tape. I learned that if you make the middle foam tape curved, it actually creates a glow that is less harsh on the edges. One small thing to take note here is that don't peel off the release paper of the foam tape that is on the left side of the battery. This includes the little white strip and the small yellow piece on my card. The reason why we want to keep the release paper here is because we're going to create a little switch with a small piece of paper. You want it to be just a little bit narrower than the battery holder. This way you can slide it in and out. Here you can see that when the little piece of paper is inserted, it blocks a part of the circuit so that no current is running through the battery. I'm pressing down on his belly where the battery is located and you can see that the light does not turn on now. This light switch mechanism has worked for me for many years and I have projects from two or three years ago that still work to this day because I always have this little piece of paper inserted and it keeps the battery fresh. After sticking on the front card panel, I tested out the circuit again and here you can see how the light mechanism works. The red LED light shines right behind the heart and when I want to mail this card, I can turn off the circuit and make sure that it doesn't keep draining the battery when it's mailing. The last step would be to decorate the card with some pattern paper. I just chose some pink floral paper here. You can decorate them however you want, but what I did was that I trimmed it down to narrow pieces and tear it down the middle to give it a very organic feel. I then adhered some double sided tape to the top of the strip and just stuck it above and beneath the cupid panel. You can then decorate the card with some additional embellishments. I included gold thread and rhinestones in my kit. If you are someone who wants to try out the Chimitronics lights but don't have a lot of starting material, you can try out the card kit I made. It includes enough supplies for 6 cards, 2 for Valentine's Day, 2 for Christmas, and 2 for Halloween. It has the stem set included as well as a paper embellishment and LED light as well as copper tape. If you're interested, you can check the link in the description box. And that is the project for today. I hope you enjoyed it and feel inspired to try out the Chimitronics lights. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!